What's going on? Welcome back to this ep- What's going on? Welcome back to the episode of JL Fishing. Today we're on Carter's Lake. All right, guys, we are putting the water now. We just had a bunch of rain for the past like two days, and we got a little like 12 hour window right now to be out here fishing, and it's going to start back raining. So, with that being said, the water's rising, got some water's rising, got some good color to it. At Carter's, a little bit of color goes a long ways because the water is generally like so freaking clear. And it's also overcast with some wind blowing, so the stars are aligned to throw a rig. I can feel it, and that's what I'm gonna go out and do. So, y'all be sure to tune in. Hopefully, we can catch some monsters. First spot. Heck, I'm down for all species. If y'all ain't ever caught a stripe on an Alabama rig, whoo, that's some fun stuff. All right, so I just fished the front half of one side of a creek. So I'm gonna jump over to another creek and try it out. I'm mainly focusing on creeks with steep banks. That way the fish can just ri rise and, and lower a whole lot easier than, than having to move, I guess you could say, with a horizontally. I don't know. But yeah, I'm focusing on deeper banks with a big rock. So, all right. Like one of my damn poles are bent. Oh, Tighten it up later. I must have seen that one. Woo! Dang, look how thick that thing is. Calm it down. Golly, boom. That's a thick ass boy. A little enough. I'm trying to keep some of them, take a picture at the end of the day. I saw that one. I don't know if the GoPro caught it or if you could see on the GoPro or not, but that was freaking awesome. Come out of one of these trees. Normally I don't get a bite to way down there, so maybe that's a good sign. Water is even more murky up here, so that might have been the ticket. And it's about one degree warmer too. So it's looking good. Golly bum, that was a big one. Golly bum, let me come back and got it. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh, this is a big one. This is a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh man, dude. What just happened? Oh my gosh. That's a freaking four pound largemouth. Oh my gosh, dude. Did that just happen? Oh man. Golly bum. Yes. Oh man, don't break my rod. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, guys. I literally made a cast. I was over here. I made a cast on that tree. It was reeling it back. 
a freaking giant come out, hit it, missed it, missed the hook. Of course, I was bummed out, and all of a sudden, boom, he hit again. <laughs> and it's a freaking like four pound largemouth. He come back and got it. Check this thing out. Boom. <laughs> oh, golly, buddy. I can't believe that just happened. Got one. Oh, man, this is a good one. Oh man, what is it? Oh man, what is it? Oh gosh, it's a spot. It's a spot. I thought it was bigger than what it was. That's still a good one. Sorry, little buddy. I mean, that's a look how thick that thing is. Golly bum. Woo! I like them thick. I thought it might have been a stripe or something. That's the way. Cause I had him foul hooked, you know. How heavy it felt. I just missed one right there. There we go. The little one. Oh man. I had two of them. Oh, that's a good one right there. Oh my gosh. Get in the boat, man. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Dude, <laughs> this is insane. Oh my gosh. This is unreal. Unfreaking real. Alright guys, I was just about to tell y'all that let's take a little tip break. That way I can tell y'all what I was doing. And I rolled up to this point right here. I was I was like I was telling myself, I'm gonna fish to right here, and then I'll do a tip break. Well I rolled up and I saw another good point and I was like, you know what, one more point and then I'll do a tip break. Well, I rolled up to that last point, first cast. I got drilled the whole way. Like half half the way to the boat and then finally hooked up well it felt like a little one because it felt like two little bluegills biting it but i knew it was hooked whatever it was i was like all right it's a little one well <laughs> I, I finally got close enough where i could see i had two of them on two freaking good ones luckily the smaller one come off and i got a four pounder in the box back here four pound spot to go with that four pound largemouth that's pretty insane if you ask me oh man my blood's pumping good now but uh, what I'm doing, I'm just running these steep banks, hitting all these small points with these big chunk rock, and uh, hitting them with this G-Funk Alabama rig, the the bladed bammer rig, I believe it is. Got to have blades. I, I ain't never thrown one without blades, but I just know that the extra little blade right there adds a little, little more bling to it. I'm throwing a uh, 3.8, I think it is, rhythm waves, jackal rhythm waves. If it's cloudy, I'll throw white. If it's sunny, I'll throw more natural colors to match the hatch. But uh, I'm throwing them on these lured parts online jig heads. I, I love them. They're like, and they're like 25 cents a piece or 10 cents a piece. They're super cheap. Dang good hook on them. But uh, the line is 25 pound Sunline Assassin fluorocarbon. Yes, yeah, some of y'all uh, might be thinking I'm crazy for throwing fluorocarbon on Alabama rig, but I ain't never broke it. I, the only, I never broke it on a cast or on a fish. I'll say that now. Like I broke a few off just by horsing, horsing, uh, trying to get the bait loose from a tree. But that's the only time that I have broke it. And uh, on the rod, I'm throwing a Dobbin 736. The split handle on the Dobbins right there is where it's at on the 736. They offer it in the full handle and the split handle. Well, the full handle is about half an inch shorter than the split handle and you need that extra length to put in your arm and to, to reel the fish in i like it a whole lot better and uh i'm throwing tranks seven gear shield tranks 
A lot of people throw a slow gear ratio for rigs, but I'm fishing super fast, so I got a pickup line. That seven gear ratio works great, and it's the Tranks 200. It's the perfect size reel to, to hold quite a bit of that 25 pound sunline. All right, well, I'm gonna move real quick. I'm definitely gonna be coming back hitting this spot again later, but I'm gonna move on up the river a little ways. The first creek I was in this morning, the water was a little bit clear and it was 49 degrees. Well, I made a move closer to where the, the main river is and the water warmed up one degree and it's a little more murkier. So obviously that made all the difference because I fished about 45 minutes here and about 45 minutes to begin with over there in that other creek and didn't get a bite in the other creek but i got i think it's four four fish just off this bank right here so that was the major key and uh all right well, i'm gonna get back to fishing i'm gonna make a move real quick and we'll see y'all when i get up there Actually, what I'm going to do is go ahead and get pictures of these fish and turn them loose because there's no sense in keeping them if I'm not going to turn them in or nothing, you know? Oh man, there's some meat in this live well. Look at this. Oh my God. That's some daggum big. <laughs> now that's a duo right there. Oh man. Look at that. It's got a black mark on its tail. Look at that. Y'all see that? That's crazy. 344. Fifty-eight. I don't know. Looks awful bigger than three fifty-eight. There we go. Already got pictures with all these, so don't be watching the gram because they sure enough gonna be on it. I don't care who you are. Oh man, let me clean you off there real quick. I don't care who you are. That was some show enough daggum bigots. I mean, that's what I live for. I mean, my general rule of thumb is you can only hold two biggins at, at the time, at the same time, so might as well just turn them loose. And... Now it's time to get back and catch them. Oh, there we go. Right 
that one. Dang it. Dang, that was a good one. Dang it. That was a real good one. Have trouble. When I see him. I'm, I don't want to set the hook too hard, you know. And jerk out of their mouth, but. Hey, he choked it. That's three fish right here. Back at the ramp now. Hope y'all enjoyed today. We uh, <laughs> that was a pretty, pretty good day with the Alabama rig. Got the boat tied down, strapped down. She ain't going nowhere but to get something to eat. Let me tell you, because I am hungry. I hope y'all enjoyed the little fishing session we did today. If y'all did, please hit that like button and subscribe. The gear I used today will be in the description. I'll be sure to use all tackle warehouse links. That way, it's all in the same place for you. Makes it easier when you order. But yeah, I appreciate all the support. I love sharing my fishing knowledge with y'all on YouTube. It was making everybody else a better better fisherman you know i really enjoy it but yeah we'll catch y'all next time i appreciate it we'll see you